entre tanta tristeza. Yo soy hermanos, sean todos ustedes bienvenidos a una asamblea de la nueva iglesia del Señor Jesucristo y todos nuestros hermanos se encuentren reunidos en esta misma hora su equivalente en los cientos lugares del mundo y en los miles lugares de Colombia donde este glorioso ministerio hace presencia esta asamblea la realizamos en el glorioso nombre de nuestro Señor Jesucristo y en su honor sabiendo que Él es la presencia que se va a manifestar poderosamente su espíritu vamos a alabarlo vamos a bendecirlo bendito señor Como tú Mi Dios y Señor oh, Y yo me rindo ante ti Te entrego todo a ti Me enamoré de ti sí. Y yo me rindo me entrego todo a ti, me enamoré de ti Y cada vez que oigo tu voz Y cuando siento tu amor, oh Dios Siempre que te veo a ti Y 
yo me rindo ante ti Ustedes la noche y me llamas sé que tu promesa no acaba eres el camino la vida y verdad con solo una palabra me sanará sé que con fe se mueve montañas entre mi vida y mi casa por medio de tu amor sé que puedo vencer todo es posible en ti puedes ver que estoy he venido a escuchar You have read passages of the scriptures, or all of them, or you have heard messages of the scripture, a lot, many, or all of them. You have thought, you have dreamt, you have had conversations about different topics of all of the historical or biblical stories of characters who talked about God or had an experience a, B, or C, X years ago in this place, and other years ago in another place, in captivity, in the temple, in a desert, in a kingdom, or in another kingdom. And the common denominator that you find, or that everyone finds, is that there's people who had an experience, and they talk about that experience. 
Well, it could be that we were in front of a fantastic book full of fantastic tales, mythological histories. It could be, but we arrived to the terrenal and physical existence and we start to grow and we start to hear about things that are related to the stories, antique stories of the scriptures. And we start to hear people, messages, sermons, teachings and testimonies of actions, of interventions, of operations, of events, not the stories of an Abraham who is afar or an improbable Moses, not even of a historical Jesus of Nazareth, but testimonies of people who we hear and who we can touch and we start to question ourselves. If they were just fantastic stories, like fables, then here it would just be the continuation of modern fables. And now with a little bit more of technology, with electricity and internet, and water treatment plants and sewer systems, you wouldn't need your stake uh, with your weapons to hide your excrements in the sand of the desert. You simply just have to flush and there's a whole drainage system. But the rest, the human conditions, the animal and terrenal condition, existential, that you and I have as mammals of the human species, it's the same. The man is born, grows, reproduces, sometimes they don't, Sometimes they do too much, and then die. Sometimes early, and sometimes later. But independently of the variables, that's the site. And so, in that context, some concerns arise that are also common. Just as all of the rivers flow into the ocean, all of the people who I have talked to um, for more than 40 years have the same confluences, the same common denominators. Which are they? Well, there's one. Why to some yes and to others no? Why being healed is not for everyone? Why the resurrection of the dead I'm not referring to it as the doctrine of the final time and the dead who have arised in ancient times, some, and in modernity, some. The question is, why there isn't no more dead? Why? Because every time that a special person who you love, well, we have them rise and we have them for another season with us, another five years, another ten years. Why does it work randomly? If you flush the water from your toilet, it's going to work. You won't have to say, I might have to use the steak today. No, it just works. It works on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, and in January, February, and March. It's always going to work last year, this year, and the next year. So why the things that are here in the biblical story don't work in the same way? Why not for everyone? If the Bible says that God makes the sun come out for everyone, it rains over everyone. His spirit spills over everyone. Why we don't see that these things are like that? And so that is the field of reflection 
that we are going to enter in a short and brief way and I hope that it will be at least a little pleasant so that you won't get tired and what's important is that we can arrive to the light and we can translate this why do some people prosper and others don't why do some people achieve goals purposes aims objectives and others don't why does it seem that some are born under the edges of a star and others under its course that's a phrase that people say colloquially but more or less that's the field and many people question themselves and they say well I see people who are healed and I hear testimonies of operations of God but I don't get them there is a biblical text and here VOR is helping me to put it there so that everyone can see it a thousand may fall at your side ten thousand at your right hand but it will not come near you so we have like inside of the promises of God the calamities a thousand die from the COVID-19 pandemic and 10,000 die but it won't get to you you are being guarded and so that generates happiness but what if we had the same text saying that a thousand receive blessing here and 10,000 receive blessing there but you don't that's alarming right the same text but not with something strong but with something extraordinary and marvelous something that you would like to happen and you see that it comes from one and another and another but it doesn't for you well we continue threshing this little by little next week possibly we will have the opportunity to meet a person I have it here whose name is Oscar Yesit Aparicio Gomez I'm not going to say anything ahead about him but he's a person who has an extraordinary trajectory and I was reading something that he wrote and its title is the wise man's job investigate research and innovate investigate research innovate and so well why are we quoting Oscar to sit well in the same way you and I without being wise when we were children we researched and investigated and we wanted to innovate for example the games that we would play we wanted to play something new or different with an additional plus and prosper in our ludic life in our recreation because that's what we would do recreate create ourselves again every day we could take anything a box and it would become a spaceship we did everything with our minds and when we were children and we were able to believe that we were out in space and we could have a combat with tremendous laser rays against aliens who were dangerous and we would win all the battles and the next day we could be gunmen from the wild west and the next day we could be policemen following a dangerous group of robbers and the next day we were firefighters extinguishing a fire in buildings and blocks we could 
pilot airplanes, we drove Formula One cars. We were able to do everything. And many of the times, it was the same box. Or without it, everything was right here. If you were not able to believe, you were not able to create. And it would happen. And that's how you played ten times, a hundred times, a thousand times maybe. And maybe you don't remember anymore. And I mention it so that you can go back to the antique roads. As a friend that came last year said, he came here to Barcelona and he said, let's go back to the antique roads and let's have this simple reflection. We have seen, as you can see, in a stormy night, the lightning, we see the brightness, the radiance, the gleam, because the light is faster than sound. And then we count the seconds and we were taught how many kilometers of distance was the storm to know where the lightning was falling so we would count one kilometer two kilometers three kilometers and we would entertain not even seeing the rain because it wasn't happening in our land or with our relatives but just seeing an electric storm in the distance hearing the thunder or seeing the lightning but we were never hit by lightning because if it had happened we wouldn't be here connected in the best of cases we saw how lightning hit a rock or a tree relatively maybe at some meters from us but but no one can say yes i was hit by lightning once when i was a child well, no, because then he would automatically become a piece of coal. They are thousands, dozens of thousands of degrees of temperature. So the oven being heated seven times where the friends of Belsasar were taken to, to get slimmer, that would be nothing compared to this. And once, maybe some months ago, we had a talk about the vitrification and how it was produced when lightning fell on the sand and how the sand would petrify. But anyway, so that's not the topic for today. You already know that. And you know that you can form Christ, I mean the rock, but from experience of that great discharge in your life. And if it doesn't arrive, well, one of these simple comparisons. And so you are able to hear people talking about God and you see people and you are seeing me here and I talk to you and I have to talk to you about the stories in the gospel or biblical stories and you've heard testimonies and so you see me and you hear the word that comes through me or through so many people who have talked to you or given their testimony. And that is just like seeing the lightning or hearing the thunder. Those are the two first experiences. And I have here the Bible, the paper Bible open to the book of Acts of the Apostles. And it says in chapter 2, when the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues 
of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. And so it mentions two things that happened before the third one. And those were a violent sound and that the tongues of fire appeared. A violent sound that they could hear and the tongues of fire that they could see. And the third point is all of them were filled with the Holy Spirit. No, before having that experience of the impact of the dunamis, the great experience of the electrical discharge from the from heaven, and having that lightning fall on you, before that, you were able to see and hear you were able to see the tongues of fire and you heard the violent sound but the third part to be completely full of the spirit it actually says it talks about a violent wind when there is a wind where do you feel it you feel it in your skin it moves in your hair you feel it in your skin you feel it in your body let's suppose that you are naked you feel it over your epidermis Yes, over your epidermis, over your skin. If it's on the dermis, is that you are skinless. And so, it's not inside. It's just that it blows outside. Let's say that you just came out of the waters of the ocean. The wind dries the water. But to be filled with the Holy Spirit, filled is inside not outside. The ark was cocked in the inside and in the outside. The wind on the outside, and that's good. And the tongues on the outside, the fire on the outside, and that's good. But the fire that's inside, the wind, the blow of the ruah, inside to be filled a vase if you're going to fill it you're not going to fill it on the outside no it's inside we're going to use a jar for the wine for the wedding and we're going to pour the wine outside no it's inside it's full do not get drink on wine which leads to debauchery instead be filled with the spirit it's inside. You need to fill the deposit to be able to pour. So there are three experiences. To see, to hear, and to receive. I can see the lightning. I can hear the thunder. But to have the theory of the thunder, to study the thunders, Benjamin Franklin, for example, a genius, he was president of the United States, he was a patriarch. He was a founder of the United States. And at the end of the 18th century, he was walking around with a kite. The ones that children used to play. When there's wind, they say it's in August, but actually this was in June. It was in the year 1762. He was chasing lightning and trying to hunt the lightning down. Not for it, for it to fall on him, but to be able to conduct that energy through a cable. And so the reason why I'm telling you this is because um, he has been attributed to the invention and the design of the lightning rod so that the lightning won't fall in any place but to be able to conduct it and make it fall in a specific place. To make it fall here, or here, or here. That's a good principle, even though that energy is not used. 
Now, for example, they use the solar panels to be able to light the houses or charge generators that will feed radiators that are going to charge batteries which are going to give light and heat or is going to be used for cooking. So, just as children, we can take that box or as Benjamin Franklin who is trying to capture the lightning, well, we are talking about the same thing what Oscar just said, the wise man inquires, investigates, innovates. There's wisdom in the children's attitude. That's why we need to be as a child to be able to enter the kingdom, but to be mature in the way of thinking. So then, what should we do? Laissez faire, laissez passer. That's what the theme of the French Revolution, to let do, and to let it pass. So simply we are going to just let things pass and move to a side and then just shrunk our shoulders and say, well, it didn't happen to me. A thousand fell, ten thousand fell, and it didn't happen to me. No, 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 no. We are going to intervene. We are going to investigate. We're going to scrutinize and we're going to see how we can improve this, how we can innovate to be able to see what is happening. What could happen in the development of the life of a child or in the development of life of the man of science? A wise man, for example, that they develop something and it doesn't work. So if it doesn't work, is that they were able to develop, invent, innovate, create something. And in a determined moment, when they are going to repeat that experiment, something is omitted, a step, and so it doesn't work. When we are children, we might ask ourselves why. Why if it's the same electricity, it can't make the refrigerator cool things, but at the same time, it can make a heater heat or an iron. Why does the electricity heat and cool? And that's, that has a reason, the same electricity, the same spirit. Why if it falls upon uh, all flesh, why do some heal and others don't? Why do some prosper and others don't? That could be a question that a child will make. If we place an iron rock, a horseshoe, in a bucket with water, it sinks. A transatlantic ship, a cruise, a cargo ship with thousands of tons of cargo float over the water. They don't sink. Are they made of paper? No, they're made of steel. And why thousands of tons of steel float? And why do airplanes fly if they weigh tons? What's going on? Why? Why if I have a horseshoe and I put it in the bucket of water, it sinks? But I take a look and my neighbor's boat or ship floats. And my neighbor's airplane flies. Okay, so now we are going to talk about it. If I have my refrigerator and it doesn't cool, or I have my iron and it doesn't heat, well, we need to review the protocol. Did you connect it? Is it plugged in to the energy? Oh, so it's not the iron. No, it's not the iron. And so it's not the refrigerator either. No, it's the effect of the energy. So we already talked about what the resistance is and we know what the freon gas is, etc. But first we need to connect it to the fountain of energy. There are a few how-tos that we have been explaining for almost all the time. 
And if one of those steps is omitted, even if it's a very small one, even if it's very small, it's going to be needed later because it's not going to work. Nothing can be omitted, nor a coma or an accent, nor a yod. The yod is the smallest letter of the alphabet. Its um, value in number is 10. And it's like a small little coma, like round one. That's the yod. But with so many letters, there's alef, bet, gimel, dalet. Well, a yod, with a yod or without one, it should be the same. With so many people who believe, why will I be held accountable? So look, if you don't connect it, there's no iron. If you don't connect it, there's no blender, no air conditioning, no fridge, no electrodomestic. So that's fundamental, my dear Watson. The scripture says, well, it says it to us, you have been faithful on a few things, in the detail, in the trifle, in the small things. If you can fight against the enemy that's on foot, you will be able to do it against those who are on horse. If you are faithful over a few things, you will be made ruler over many things. But then you want to be the manager in a bank and you start working as the cashier. And on the first day, you're missing money. But you say, no, no, I'm very intelligent. You can switch me now to be the boss, to be chief of checking accounts. But it's unbalanced. So you have to be faithful with each coin, each bill. That if you're a cashier in person. And if it were in a virtual bank, well, it's the same. There's the cents and dollars or euros or pesos, whichever coin it is. So faithful over the few things to look at the detail. So what, what is your purpose? You have decided to achieve different goals for yourself, objectives. And you say, okay, well, we're going to evangelize through, through the cloud. I'm going to subscribe people. For example, here. I have here a graphic. The graphic of the ARCA operation from a year ago. What, who, when, how, where, why, and what for? What, who, when, how, where, why, what for? The seven steps. What, who, when, how, where, why, what for? The mission, the delegation, the opportunity, the method, the planning, the location, the reason or motive, the function or purpose. And so it's as simple as what we are going to take the message. Who? I will initiate that operation. When? Starting today. We talked about this a year ago. How? Each one placing let's say a circle, a circle would be 12, or an arc, an arc is 6. So placing them here, the 12, or the 6, placing them here, in the arc of my heart. So where? There, in the heart, that's the location. Why? the reason or the motive, because I love them. And what for? Well, so that, as Jesus said, wherever I am, they will also be. If I'm going to arrive to a safe port, I want them to arrive with me. I want them to arrive to the, sa to the same port. And so for that reason, I'm going to believe for them and pray for them and give offerings for them, and congregate for them, and ask for forgiveness to the heaven for them, so that they won't do it, I will do it, and I will take responsibility for them. And I absorb death for them, 
and I minister life for them. And if 12 is too many, then to 6. And the answer was, Amen, Alleluia. And so some people do it, and some don't. Some people subscribe, others don't subscribe. Some people are generous, others are not. And so if you're not a joyful giver, if you haven't connected or linked, as we said yesterday, to the thousands of colleagues, we are thousands and thousands, which we are all the new journalists of the kingdom. Two days ago was the journalist day. Today is Saturday, so that was on Thursday. From Wednesday, we started uh, preparing, and we talked about it on Wednesday and on Thursday. And we finished that topic last night. Why are we communicators? To communicate, to transmit, to be able to send out all the good news, to expand all of this. Oh, but there are so many things that are not clear for us yet. Of course. Of course we don't. There is help being sent to Syria. And there is help being sent to Turkey. But that's still not the solution. To send some blankets and some mattresses. To send water. It doesn't fix the huge and serious problem. The catastrophe, the immense disaster, the biggest of the last century or more. It's something shocking, but each bottle of water mitigates, each sip of water mitigates the thirst of someone, a child, an elderly, a displaced, a refugee, of someone who has been affected, a person who's been hurt, or to clean a wound, it's needed. So you can say, no, when everything is clear for me, I will be used by God as a minister, as a flame of fire. Look, I don't have, not even, I don't have everything clear. It's not, of course it's not all. And here I am, serving as the Apostle Peter said, with what I have, that's what I can give. I, ca I can wait to be perfect, to start ministering. Imagine how I was 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 45 years ago, like in Plato's cave, just seeing shadows, but suddenly I can see a light, and I start screaming, and I make a a fuss about it, and maybe that would be my first message. There's a light, there's a door, there's a way out. And then I start to testify. There's a world of colors. That doesn't make me not even a botanic or a biologist or a zoologist. I'm simply seeing that there's other creatures that move and exist and that they're real and that's how it starts, the story of this message. And it starts to evolve and grow, but I want it to grow together with you. So, y so you won't be an expectator to seeing that others receive, but you don't receive. And so I'm calling you simply because being a child playing with a box or being a wise man investigating science to innovate, it's the same. You have to take a look at all of the steps to have a protocol, step by step. The small details, the little little foxes that spoil the vines. A dead fly gives perfume about smell. And there are other verses that we can use as examples for this. And you can use as many examples as you want to be able to grasp the idea. And so, my dear friends and brothers, I wish that sooner than later you will be able to say, I saw the lightning, I heard the thunder. 
but I received a discharge that killed me. It's no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. The dunamis lives, the discharge lives, the electric discharge. The rest is to see how it rains. There are even some storms that are dry. What can we do with hard winds and the tongues of fire if we're not full or filled by the Spirit? What good is it if we experience the Passover and Pentecost if we don't arrive to tabernacles? What good is it without Pesach, Savot, Sukkot? I saw the new church in the cloud and I get connected. I see it. I see the musicians. I see people. I see the programs. I see the dynamics or I have met people from different countries or different cities in different continents and I see that it is a, dy a dynamic movement, revolutionary. That's good. And I've also heard, I've heard messages. I've heard the word. I've heard testimonies. That's good. So you have seen. You've seen the lightning and you've heard the thunder. But have you felt the lightning? So you've heard and seen that is Passover and Pentecost. You have seen the woman and the man. You have seen that between the Lord and the woman, which is the church, that speaks about Christ and the fruit, the Son. My little children, for whom I labor in birth again until Christ is formed in you. The Son, the fruit, Christ, the lightning will hit you, will form you. That's what Paul the Apostle is saying. It doesn't make sense any other way. It's like when someone has dinner in the neighbor's house and has breakfast in another neighbor's house and then has lunch in the neighbor in the other house and there's hunger here. No, that's not good. Your iron needs to heat. Your refrigerator needs to cool. Your ship needs to sail to circ the waters and your airplane goes through the sky. That's how it should be, how it must be. Let's pray. Celestial Father, thank you very much for this night, this word, this message, the opportunity that you give us all and each of us to be able to reflect, to look, to measure, to quantify, to wait, to examine ourselves. We want to be weighted and if in any way we are found devoid, well here we are Lord. This is the moment to restore, to compensate, the moment to level our weights so that all justice is accomplished. Now we can see clearly why is it that many things that we could have received or we could have waited for so long, we wouldn't have had to wait for so long and it would have arrived to us and it's not your fault. It is our fault because we have omitted a step, a fundamental step in the process. Thank you because your spirit convinces us of everything that we need to be able to balance and judge with a correct judge without accusing 
or condemning, because you are who justifies us, but more giving a step ahead to what is perfect, to what we want. Thank you, Lord, for this night. We have advanced, and it depends on us, only on us. It depends that it becomes noticeable that we have advanced a lot, a lot. We thank you, Jesus Christ. Amen. las manos, aclamad a Dios con voz de júbilo, con tambores y el son de bocina, aclamad a Dios con voz de júbilo, Rey grande en la tierra, someterá los pueblos, nos elegirá nuestra heredad y subirá con voz de júbilo. las manos, aclamad a Dios con voz de júbilo, con tambores y el son de bocina, aclamad a Dios con voz de júbilo, Rey grande en la tierra, someterá los pueblos, nos elegirá nuestra heredad y subirá con voz de júbilo. Cantar, cantar a Dios, cantar, cantar a nuestro Rey. Cantar, cantar a Dios, cantar, cantar a nuestro Rey. Al Dios del nuevo Israel, cantar a nuestro Rey. Al Dios del nuevo Israel, cantar a nuestro Rey. 
nuestro Rey Cantar Cantar a nuestro Rey Cantar Cantar a nuestro Rey Cantar Cantar a nuestro Rey El trabajo de Gladys Ocando, la madre de Alan, un hombre adicto a la pornografía, era muy demandante en sus días de juventud. Según él lo cuenta, ella creía que con comida, educación, ropa limpia y de calidad, ya estaba cumpliendo con su papel. Alan nos cuenta, yo a veces la escuchaba decir, mi hijo si es tranquilo, ese no sale de la casa. No se daba cuenta que el peligro estaba dentro de la casa, que lo que tenía que hacer era buscar la forma de sacarme de esa habitación. La pornografía como yo la vivo y como la viven muchas otras personas, te aísla, te lleva a hacer cosas que atentan contra tu cuerpo y tu mente. ¿Cree usted que el consumo de pornografía se da por la falta de educación sexual?